Okay. Now, I want to do one more thing, and then maybe we'll have a little fun. Okay? Maybe I'll dance. You don't want to see that. Well, maybe you do compared to hearing me sing. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Any questions on this before I go forwards? Let's summarize what we've learned in the second, in the second phase of the process. The first phase, we put eight, two ATPs in. The second phase, how many ATPs have we made? Four. Four. Two times two, right? So we've had a net gain of two ATPs. What else did we gain in this, in this uh, second phase? Heat. Heat. And what else did we gain? We gained two NADHs. Those two NADHs will become important later in another process. So the net products of glycolysis are two pyruvates. They don't disappear. Two ATPs net and two NADHs. Those are the net products of glycolysis. OK. Now, I want to say a word about pyruvate. Now, I'm going to go back here to pyruvate space, this very first figure, and show you that. And then we'll have a little fun and finish for the week. OK? Pyruvate, we think of as the end product of glycolysis. But remember, just like all of I-5 goes past Portland, or goes past Corvallis, so too do the metabolic processes go further than that. So we've reached either Corvallis or Portland right here. Now we see some other towns that we're going to go to at this point. Okay, here's I-84. All right, here's um, what, 99, and here's I-5. Right? Pyruvate has in the cell, depending upon the cell, three different fates, three different things it can go to. It depends on the cell as to what it goes to. If the cell has plenty of oxygen, it goes and makes something called acetyl-CoA. We'll talk about it later. But suffice it to say, it goes to the citric acid cycle. This is the most efficient way for it to go because the most energy will be realized as a result of that. This will happen in any aerobic cell when there's plenty of oxygen. So the middle pathway will happen in any aerobic cell when there's plenty of oxygen. Your cells are aerobic most of the time. And as long as there's plenty of oxygen, that's the way it wants to go, because that's where it's going to get the most energy, the most bang for the buck. There's that bang again. OK, if we look in our cells when they run out of oxygen, when would they run out of oxygen? Well, perhaps I'm exercising faster than my blood supply can deliver oxygen. Perhaps I'm a smoker and my oxygen carrying capacity is reduced. When that happens, the cell has, cannot go this route. We'll see why later, so I don't want to say why. The cell has to do something with that pyruvate. And what it does with that pyruvate is it goes this pathway to the left. It converts pyruvate into lactate. Lactate is not the same as lactose. People frequently conf confuse them. Lactose is a sugar. Os meaning sugar, right? Lactate okay, is an acid, lactic acid. Now. This reaction uses NADH and makes NAD. That turns out to be very important. Anybody know why that's important? In glycolysis, we have to recycle our NADH. If we don't, we're going to run out of NAD. And if we run out of NAD, we're going to stop glycolysis, and the cell is going to die. This reaction is done to regenerate NAD and keep glycolysis going. This pathway, when there's plenty of oxygen, that's automatically going on. NAD is automatically being made. So in this pathway, NAD is readily being made because there's plenty of oxygen. When you run out of oxygen, you have to think of alternative ways of making NAD. And this process, on the left, we call fermentation. You thought fermentation was about making beer. Your body is fermenting right now. Maybe you feel a little tipsy? Okay. You're fermenting when your cells are running out of oxygen. And in this room, it's getting a little stuffy, so we might all be running out of oxygen. Okay. That's what's happening. What cells do this? Animal cells. Animal cells make lactate when they run out of oxygen. Okay. There's another group of cells, yeast and bacteria. When they run out of oxygen, they go through what you think of as making beer. 
because they convert pyruvate into ethanol. And they're doing it for the same reason. Notice they're converting NADH into NAD. Does that make sense? This reaction on the right happens only in yeast and eth yeast, I'm sorry, yeast and bacteria. Questions on that? Should we finish the week with a song? Okay, so three routes. One route makes lactate. That occurs in animals when there's low oxygen. Second route goes to the citric acid cycle. That occurs in all cells when there's plenty of oxygen. The third route is making ethanol that occurs in bacteria and yeast when there's no oxygen. Okay, how many um, know the song, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things? Da 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 da. Okay. We have some visitors today, so I want you to, you know, really, and plus, depending upon how loud you sing, may determine how many points come with these things. We will sing loudly today, right? Okay. This one's called The Sound of Glucose. Aldehyde sugars are always aldoses, and if there's a ketone, we call them ketoses. Some will form structures in circular rings. Saccharides do some incredible things. Onto a glucose, we add a P to it. ATP energy ought to renew it. Quick rearranging creates F6P without requiring input energy. At a high rate, at a phosphate, with PFK, F16BP is made up this way, so we can run and play da 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 da. Aldolase breaks it and then it releases DHAP and a few G3 pieces. These both turn into one, two, three PG. Adding electrons onto NAD. Phosphate plus ADP makes ATP. While giving cells what they need energy. Making triphosphates a situation of substrate level phosphorylation. 3BPG, 2BPG, lose a water. PEP gets a high energy state. Just to make pyruvate. No, I cannot sing, okay? So all the glucose gets broken and bent. If there's no oxygen, cells must ferment. Pyruvate, lactate, our cells hit the wall. Some lucky yeast get to make ethanol. This is the end of your glucose's song. Unless you goof up and get it all wrong. Break it, don't make it to yield ATP. You'll save yourselves from futility. Okay, excellent, thank you. Time to get out and enjoy the sun. Yes, sir. In your carbon, if the OH is up, yep. that's beta? Up is beta, yep. You bet. It's getting hot in here, isn't it? Hey, sir, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Did you sing? I did sing, yeah. We actually sang at the works. We were listening to the CD. Cool. This is my friend, Nicola. Mekla, I'm Kevin. Pleased to meet you. Let me answer a couple questions here, and then we can talk for a minute, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine.